Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs, and today I want to introduce you to our new uh, Super Crystal Radio set, which just got where just the first production run uh, got finished. And uh, I will explain all the components here uh, in, in a few minutes. Uh, but first, let me explain why we took such a great effort and why we are not cheating about uh, a crystal radio, which you know is uh, just consists of only a few passive components. But you can see here must be a battery hidden because you have we have a power switch and LED and some active components which somewhere need power and you might know a classic crystal radio set only consists of uh, four, three or four passive components except for the antenna and the tuning capacitor. You only have a diode, a capacitor and an earpiece um, which you cannot see here where these elements are but you can guess they will be placed here on the breadboard. Um, but uh, the reason why we uh, uh, took so many elements here uh, to, uh, to make a perfect and an advanced uh, crystal radio set uh, is just uh, because the situation has changed. Um, if you talk to uh, people who started uh, their electronics hobby uh, 20, 30 or more years ago, and then they all or most of them will tell you stories about that one of their first experiments was building up a crystal radio set from a very uh, uh, simple components. Uh, they just uh, took some meters of copper wire and a tuning capacitor, a germanium diode, a, a capacitor and a simple earphone and without any problem they could hear the at least the local AM station. Uh, but the situation has changed at least here in Europe completely. For example in Germany uh, there is not a single AM transmitter anymore and the nearest one is 500 kilometers away from at least here from where I'm sitting. And so uh, in today's world, uh, you have to go to a very great effort and you have to optimize every single part of a crystal radio uh, just to get success. And um, one of the most important things is uh, we want, really want to give the users of uh, the crystal radio set here we want to really give them a sense of achievement that if they use uh, this, they will, with a 99% guarantee, they will be able to hear even far away uh, AM stations if they uh, go step by step with the manual which we uh, provide with the crystal radio set. Uh, or if they watch the forthcoming uh, video series about uh, what you have to watch out for to optimize uh, your, your receiving experience and your receiving uh, successes uh, when it comes to crystal radio sets. Uh, now, let's um, go piece by piece and part by part through uh, the single com components and what they are good to you, just to give you an introduction and a feeling what you can all do with this. Uh, what is not provided is the antenna and the tuning capacitor, because uh, for that purpose th this uh, will be external. You can use our um, antenna tuner for that or you can use uh, uh, your own variable capacitor and your own uh, AM magnetic uh, antenna. As you might know, we all provide parts for that in our uh, shop. So the uh, antenna signal, the tuned antenna signal comes uh, into the uh, crystal radio set here either uh, th with the uh, two uh, banana uh, jacks for a standard four millimeter or uh, as an alternative to this uh, through this um, two pin terminal. Then uh, the input is connected here to the uh, four uh, pin receptacles 
and then you go here to the breadboard and there you will um, build up the basic uh, crystal radio set and not only with uh, standard uh, Schottky diodes, I will explain in the video series why Schottky diodes are much better than germanium diodes. Of course we provide um, a full set of uh, passive components, um, uh, the necessary Schottky diodes, uh, some uh, capacitors of different values and some resistors of different values. Um, but especially you get, uh, you get uh, very uh, high quality uh, HP Schottky diodes, which I can show you here, which we also sell uh, separately. Uh, these um, microwave Schottky diodes uh, they are between 10 and 100 times better when it comes to uh, the reverse current compared to the best uh, amateur Schottky diode, for example a BAT43 or BAT43. Um, they have uh, extremely high uh, dynamic uh, impedance and they are uh, between 10 and 100 times better when you use them with a high Q uh, AM antenna. So we will uh, provide, um, uh, we have them in, uh, in a single form or as a dual diode. Uh, so you can either parallel two of the diodes to half the dynamic, dynamic impedance. Uh, or you can use them separately to build a two-way rectifier, which gives you a higher output voltage. Um, so also these diodes are, we sell them also separately, soldered onto, uh, uh, onto pin headers um, on these um, breakout boards. And so um, the, the basic um, uh, crystal radio will be built up here with um, with one of the one or two of the Schottky diodes, and depending on if you use either a magnetic headphone with a standard ceramic capacitor, or if you use um, a, a ceramic uh, earpiece like this one, which we also sell separately, uh, then you will need. Um, a resistor and as I already told you we provide uh, different uh, uh, values of resistors and all will be explained as well in the video series and in the manual which is not yet ready but probably uh, when you watch this um, this video uh, you I will give you the download link for the free manual down below in the comments. Now, so the breadboard is simply the a place where you build up the basic crystal radio. But then here we have the first active section and this one provides uh, an additional bias current uh, to the diode because in some cases uh, you can optimize uh, the, uh, the reception result uh, by applying a very small bias current. Here it is variable from uh, zero up to uh, around 100, I don't, don't know exactly, 10 or 100 microamps with this little um, potentiometer here. And um, then the, uh, the output from the, uh, from the basic crystal radio set goes uh, here into these uh, again two four pin receptacles and from there on you can switch with this uh, four throw um, switch slide switch what is um, wh where uh, w what is done with the output signal does it go either we have two output uh, terminals one is a 3.5 millimeter uh, standard um, uh, jack for uh, headphones or in parallel here you have a, again a two pin terminal and now if you put the slide sw switch to detector 
then uh, the the output from the um, from the crystal radio is directly uh, um, going through the slide switch to the output terminals but then the next position we have buffer and this is what is built up here we have a little uh, buffer and that is absolutely necessary if you only have modern headphones uh, which have just too low Im impedance uh, today the headphones you can buy they usually only have 32 ohms that's uh, that's absolutely um, impossible to hear anything with uh, such a low impedance just because the load to the crystal radio is uh, much too large. But uh, you can then get still a result uh, if you put a buffer which, is, uh, which, uh, which has a high impedance 10 mega ohm input and uh, gives you enough uh, driving source. It has no amplification. Uh, it just, uh, no voltage amplification, uh, it just is a kind of, um, uh, it, it matches the output impedance of your uh, 32 ohm or uh, lower or higher uh, uh, headphone impedance to the high impedance of the crystal radio. So that's the second slide switch. But the most important one is the third position and that is transformer and you can see here is a little audio transformer and that is except for the uh, for the Schottky diode this is the si and except for the antenna this is the single most important part because the output of your crystal radio is in the range between a few dozen kilo ohms and a few hundred kilo ohms but your uh, your headphones are in the range between 32 ohms and the highest you can get from the past is around four or five kilo ohms so you have to match the very high output impedance of your crystal radio to the impedance of your headphone and that's why the transformer here what it's good for we uh, sell the crystal radio set in two versions. Here we have a transformer with an impedance ratio of 50 to 1, which means, for example, a um, 100 kilo ohms output impedance of your crystal radio is transformed uh, 50 times down, down to 2 kilo ohms, and that's, uh, that's the right impedance for uh, 600 ohm headphones um, just to mention we put the uh, if you use stereo headphones uh, then the left and the right channel are put in series so you get uh, double the impedance of your headphone if you have 600 ohm headphones uh, you use effectively 1.2 kilo ohms because they are put in series and this 1.2 kilo ohm times 50 is, uh, is, uh, is uh, transformed to um, 60 kilo ohms here as a load to your, uh, to your crystal radio. And we have a second version with the absolutely highest uh, transformation ratio we could, you, we could found. It has 200 to 1 which means 1.2 kilo ohms headphone impedance is transformed to 240 kilo ohms here as a load to your crystal radio. And uh, the fourth position is head amp and here on the lower side we have a little amplifier. First of all again an op amp as a high impedance buffer and then the venerable LM386 as an audio amplifier. Uh, so if you put the slide switch in the uppermost position, head amp, uh, you can even put a loudspeaker um, uh, to, uh, to the output. And uh, that is uh, just the first position you should use when uh, trying to get a reception signal at all. So anyway, uh, you can use this uh, crystal radio set 
absolutely in the classical way if you put the slide switch either to transformer or to direct detector out. Then you, uh, you have absolutely no active components, you don't have to turn on uh, power, uh, then it's operated in the classical way. But of course for the outputs uh, buffer or head amp, you have to turn the power on switch. We have a little LED here, uh, which also serves as a low bed indicator. So when the, there's a, uh, what you can see, there's the nine volt standard battery here hidden uh, below the PCB inside the case. And uh, this gives the power for the bias current generation, for the buffer amplifier, uh, and or for the uh, headphone or loudspeaker amplifier. And now you might finally ask, well, I see a third trim pot, except here for the uh, BIOS uh, current uh, trim pot uh, or potentiometer. We have a little potentiometer for the volume of the uh, headphone amplifier. And here is a third um, potentiometer. And this is also for impedance matching because um, the impedance of the, uh, of the transformer uh, that is defined only for AC voltages. But with a crystal radio, you also have a, a constant DC voltage. And uh, this uh, just uh, gives the right impedance uh, if you adjust it to the, uh, to the impedance of, a, of your load just for the DC voltage. This is, uh, you, can, you can perhaps already guess there are a lot of tricks here hidden inside. Uh, just to give you the best result and um, we found that we got between 40 and 60 dB better results than with a standard uh, crystal radio just by the use of this transformer, this little um, DC impedance matching uh, trimmer and by using a, a super low reverse current uh, Schottky diode from uh, HP, nowadays Avago or uh, Avago, I don't know how exactly they pronounce it. So, um, and that is not all. Um, I already mentioned, today you have the problem, you don't get any uh, high impedance uh, headphones anymore. Uh, decades ago, it started with, uh, with um, uh, headphones which had uh, two kilo ohms impedance, but uh, these are not produced anymore. In for hi-fi listening, uh, you still get from uh, brands like a Sennheiser or a Bayer Dynamic. Uh, they still produce 600 ohms uh, headphones, but they are quite expensive. You can find uh, older ones um, from the 1970s to 1990s. Uh, relatively cheap on eBay. I will also uh, give you in a later video episode some examples and a list I have compiled of, uh, of uh, readily available used 600 ohm headphones, but they are only the second best. Um, I already showed you in another video that uh, crystal earpieces are one of the most sensitive earpieces you can get. And uh, we also sell them uh, as, an, as a uh, very good alternative uh, or even the second best alternative. And then there, there are these uh, so-called balanced armature uh, transducers, um, which have the absolutely highest uh, sensitivity, but they have one disadvantage. Um, they, are, they are relatively low in impedance. Uh, this one here measures only 150 ohms, so even if you put two in series. But anyway, they are so sensitive uh, that they are, even with their uh, little bit too low impedance, uh, the absolutely best um, most effective and most sensitive listening devices. So all in all, let's put it together. 
you already know from another video our AM antenna tuner and our um, AM antennas. What is still forthcoming is our frame antenna as the best possible result or uh, best possible magnetic antenna for indoor use which will be ready in probably a month and I will uh, of course uh, make a separate video when we have them ready. Uh, we have our AM antenna tuner uh, of high quality and we have now the super crystal radio and as an ad ad addition you can get the uh, super uh, high quality Schottky detector or crystal diodes uh, or Schottky diodes for crystal radios. You, you can get uh, the piezo uh, or crystal earpiece and you can get uh, the uh, balanced armature uh, capsules or transducers. So that was it for a short introduction and uh, stay tuned because uh, in probably or hopefully next week I will have the first episode of uh, the what you all um, what crystal radio is all about what you have to watch out for why it's so important uh, to use the best possible Schottky diodes why it's so important to have the best matching transformer why it's so important uh, to have the uh, the right impedance in your earpieces and what and why the high sensitivity ones uh, are made of and how you can get them and uh, how you uh, uh, select the right uh, passive components, the right um, capacitor for your crystal radio and the right, um, the right uh, resistors. So that was it for a short introduction and as I already told you I hope uh, when you watch this uh, you can already I have the manual already uh, written so that you can free download it to just to give you an impression what you can do with this. Anyway it's open source of course uh, as you can see here uh, the um, the uh, schematics and the eagle files are freely available and uh, well that was it hope to see you next time stay tuned until next time bye from roger bye from kanka labs until next time